Hey guys, how you doing? In today's video, we're going to be spectating some of my own gameplay and sort of just talking you through the plays I make and sort of a more relaxed style video. So here I'd landed at a military base and there was a guy in this bunker. He'd uh, gone in the back entrance of it. I've seen him before in the truck. I like getting the trucks quite early in the game in uh, in the melee base just because it stops other people driving around with them and you can sort of just get around. It's quite good if you get a scavenger contract with them. You can get between the bunkers really quickly and really safely. So I knew that guy was shooting me, obviously, but I wasn't quite sure where he was. So I want to just take him out. Nothing particularly special here about this kill. He seems a little bit distracted. Wasn't sure if I could shoot through the door. Obviously couldn't. And he was still just looking at the truck. I only had a rocket launcher and a, a pistol. So it wasn't really a problem to me ever. So here, get back in the truck. And I spot the guy just over the wall there. Third person view with the truck. It's a nice thing to see. And just push towards him. Not sure what he has. Some kind of sniper. Accuracy here is a little bit off and he runs to go and get in the truck, but I know the truck's low so I have enough ammo just to spray it down, disable it and take get the kill. I mean a little bit annoying that I took out my own truck, especially with uh, the zone as it is because it's uh, quite far away, but not too bad. So here I'd uh, looted through military base, got enough money, not got my loadout yet but had got UAV. I think because it was so late in the game uh, that I hadn't got my loadout, I just thought I'll wait for the uh, free one. And I spotted this guy on my UAV, so just take a sniper shot on him and I wait long enough just to line up the perfect headshot and take him out easily. I'm a little bit nervous with snipers, always wait a little bit too long I think to take my shots but I hit it there so it's not too bad. And this was the guy down the hill that was shooting at the guy that I sniped in the back and there's actually turns out to be two people down here. I'm actually not patient, patient enough in this clip. There was a point in a second where I took a shot where I really shouldn't have. There's this guy with a right shield, yep there we go. And here I tried to hit him, I mean I could have taken him out obviously but that now tells everyone that I'm there, especially as I don't have a suppressor on, so they know exactly where I am on the minimap. I mean, they might be distracted with the fight, but still not the best play. And I see him. I wanted to get a shot onto him, but I think he just gets in the truck here. Yeah, gets in the truck. Wanted to take him out there. Should have been a little bit quicker, shot him when he went into the door, and that's actually pretty easy killing people with trucks, but he runs into that little uh, blue building there. I know that he's in there, so... I want to see how far he's gone because he could have run in, gone upstairs or whatever. So I just chuck in a flashbang in here to see where he is. He has a battle hardened, so obviously he's got his uh, loadout. And I want to get in this window. Missed the window somehow. I have to shoot through. I mean, I made a lot of noise here, but he just did not seem to notice me. I think he was playing up in the corner there and can take him out pretty easily. And I see the little mine here. Annoyingly, again, destroys the truck. And I didn't spot that little mine on the floor there. Spot this contract. Think, oh, I'll get a load of money if that's somewhere I can get in zone. But sadly, it wasn't in zone. And I just rotated across and again, got a new UAV, got a car, tried to get into his own as it was still quite far away, but spot this guy close by. I do not take this fight very well. I spotted him on the right here. He's behind the cliff here. Not taking this fight very well. I revealed myself way too much there and he knew exactly where I was coming from. I still win. I don't spot the sniper pin on the hill there, as you might have seen, but the sniper shot misses, thankfully. And now I'm just trying to bait out a few more shots just to, to see if he'll uh, put his sniper pin out because I hadn't spotted him the first time, but I just think, well... I'm not going to be able to win this fight, especially as I don't have a sniper rifle. And it's about the range where the all slider getting slightly less effective because of the uh, recoil nerf. So I just think I'll go to my car and try and go get the contract. A few slide cancels just in case he is scoped in on me. And yeah, just drive towards the uh, contract. I wouldn't be able to get there anyway, I don't think. I would have been out of zone, but I think, oh, I might try. Try and get loads of money because they give you so much money. And I just happen to spot this guy. And he just completely outplays me. c force me. Don't react quick enough. So in the gulag. Shotgun gulag. Not too bad. Got a decent hit with the uh, grenade, so I could take him out easily. So I get out the gulag, spawn above downtown, and I'm just looking for a scavenger contract because that's the easiest way to get back in the game. Get you enough money to get your loadout and get yourself set back up. I find that if I don't like focus too much on getting my loadout quickly after dying, I uh, tend to just sort of do nothing for the rest of the game and then just die with no loot. Getting sniped here, which is a bit of a problem. Got my loadout though, which is nice. I know that if I get into this truck, that I'm going to be getting into the side where that guy can already see me. So when I get in the truck, I'll jump in the opposite door. And I know that it's pretty easy to snipe me, but then there just happens to be this guy in a bush. And it was a little sad, but it was an easy, uh, easy takeout. And then it happens there's another guy scoped in on me. This time it was from the top of the hill. I don't think I actually realized this. I thought it was the guy across the way who was sniping me before, but he was again sniping me right from up on that little statue at the top or that sort of platform. And again, had my truck placed the wrong way so he could shoot me easily. So this time I turn my truck around, use it as cover to play up, and I know when I get in, I'm not going to be an easy shot because my back's not going to be open to him. 
So after now, I drive around a bit of zone and I spot that this building is probably the best building for the end of the game. There's two of these sort of red roof buildings that I think are decent spots to sit in just to play and wait until we get to the sort of the final circles until this circle closes. And I obviously saw that guy running into the opposite doorway and I know that he's going to be able to beat me to the roof if he wants to. So there's no way I'm going to be going up the ladder right at the top of the stairs. So I just want to sit in the little room behind me. I can hear him just listening from here. Oh, and then I just spot this mine. I'm like, well, just going to pop it at the top of the stairs, bottom of the ladder. So if someone does come up the stairs or down the ladder, I'll be able to take them out. And then I did actually hear a guy beneath me. Not the same person as before, but I'm not quick enough to react to get out of there. But I'm good and don't chase him straight down the stairs because it would be very easy there to chase him straight down the stairs. But with this gun, the Grozer, if he has an FFAR or a MAC-10, he's going to be uh, able to take me out pretty easily if he gets some plates off as he runs down. So this is a bit of an odd angle that most people don't hold, I'd say, of the stairs. Normally you'd be either right in the corner or the other side of the walkway here but i think this is quite a nice angle to hold just because you'll be able to see their feet and most people as they come upstairs they don't actually look right behind them until they sort of get to the far end of the corridor uh, that sort of makes sense so as you're walking around the corridor you're sort of turning so you should be able to see them before they see you and just a little waiting game here just to see if he does try and push me if i were him i probably would have stayed downstairs but no he tries to push me and he is not happy about it i believe not really sure what i did there that made him think i was a hacker but still I mean, I could hear him. Oh, there was a... Uh, oh, it was a heartbeat, wasn't it? It wasn't a cluster strike. I'm not sure what I was looking for there. Now the circle's closed, I know that my back's safe when I got onto the roof, so it's pretty safe as long as no one's pushed in the opposite walkway, but I haven't heard anyone above me. So yeah, I just checked out the other little gantry, and... Oh, here's some footsteps beneath me. Just sort of trying to play safe. I know that no one's going to be able to have an angle on me from above, so it's just if there's someone opposite in that little other box. And I happen to hear the guy beneath, and this should be an easy kill if he comes to go and get some loot. Which it was. After I killed this guy, I've killed like two people here, and there was another dead body downstairs, so I assume everyone was dead in this area, and I just wasn't paying attention, and that guy snuck up this ladder. And if you watch my uh, view just before, it sort of, you just miss him coming upstairs, and he had an FAR just was shooting at my back, and it me out easily. Anyway, we'll watch him towards the end of the game. He played it quite well, to be fair. So this guy rotated pretty early to get across. The problem with this building, why I didn't go on this one earlier, was that up on the hill, just above this building, you could see onto the roof if you go up right onto the tip top and go into those like little metal bits that we were in in the previous one. And I just thought, oh, it's a bit too much of a risk to do that. So I'll go and play it safe in the other building. It just so happened that it closed on this one. This guy gets some shots, but does the right thing and rotates up the stairs. And he knows there probably won't be a guy up here just because the other ladder is in. So he just about gets up enough in time sees the loadout on the roof and thankfully for him this area is completely clear so he has a pretty good pretty good vantage point over everyone he knows he has height on everyone and people probably one beneath him or maybe one on the opposite side of zone he knows that guy shot him from the other end of the building then he gets this rotation he plays a little bit passively here i wasn't when i was watching this live i was doing a little bit of commentary and i thought he was playing a little bit too passively don't know why he went into the gas there and here if i were him i probably would have rotated across zone early just because no one's like moving at all so you know they're just hiding in the building and i would have jumped straight down and then run around because even though he's going in the gas obviously to try and avoid people it still could get shot out quite easily parachuting all the way across very quiet this zone surprised no one is shooting again i wasn't sure he was going to be able to get up all the way to the roof and i thought well he's just sort of letting them rotate for free into zone this is running past all the loot that of the guy i killed and then going upstairs onto my loot and this time the zone's rotating back so I didn't actually think this was the best position, especially if the guy had played in the gas beneath him, because he has to jump off the roof after a little while. So if the guy beneath him had played, well, there's two people left, but they're both probably in the building beneath him. And if those two guys had sort of played with cover and waited for him to jump down, he could have been in a real bad situation, especially if they're the gas mask. But we'll see here. He hears them fighting. Whilst they're fighting, I definitely would have jumped down onto a building roof just in front of this person. I mean, in the end, he gets the kill fine. But whilst those guys were fighting and distracted, he could have got a position to gatekeep them as they got pushed in by the zone and that would have been a really easy win i mean he won in the end and he played it nice and safe but probably wouldn't have been how i'd done it anyway if you enjoyed the video make sure to check out my playlist on screen here going through some tip videos to help you improve at warzone thanks for watching